吧。The ten-episode Japanese Netflix anime series follows David Martinez, a young street kid from Arroyo, Santo Domingo, as he tries to survive in Night City, a dystopian metropolis. David becomes an outlaw, a mercenary also known as a cyberpunk, after being joined by Lucy, a netrunner. Rafa Jockey is the showrunner for the series, which is produced by Studio Trigger and directed by Hiroyuki Imeshi. Cyberpunk Edge Runners is a spin-off of CDPR's Cyberpunk 2077. Which means it is set in the same version of Mike Pondsmith's acclaimed tabletop RPG. The locations and designs are identical to those seen in the video game, but the story revolves around a different cast of characters. In short, V or Johnny Silverhand do not appear in the anime. Edge Runners, on the other hand, follows David Martinez, an academically brilliant student whose talents cannot be supported by his single mother's wages, especially in Night City, where it takes more way more than a paramedic's salary just to survive. When David is forced to fend for himself, Edge Runners explores how Night City can be terrifying in ways other than psychotic, cybernetically enhanced street gangs, i.e., capitalism. As David finds himself gradually drowning in debt, kicked out of the prestigious academy he can no longer afford, and pursued by debt collectors, Night City's hypercapitalism emerges as the early antagonist in Edge Runners, demonstrating that even flying cars and cool outfits are not a panacea for poverty. When David meets a mysterious netrunner named Lucy and joins a lovable mercenary group led by the strong-willed and armed main, his luck changes. Thus begins his journey as a mercenary in Night City. Whereas V's mercenary adventures are literally hijacked when his body and mind become a living space for Keanu Reeves' Johnny Silverhand, David's plot is almost entirely focused on Night City's criminal elements. Main's team will become entangled in a feud between two of the city's largest megacorps, as well as the schemes of a fixer named Faraday, played by Giancarlo Esposito with his usual exemplary menace. When Edge Runners explores the various aspects of Night City's hostile life cycle, as in the way that street gangs and mercenaries commit crimes on behalf of fixers who are themselves subject to Night City's real rulers, the megacorps, it performs at its best. Cyberpunk Edge Runners puts these relationships front and center, and David's ascent up the food chain makes for an intriguing vantage point from which to view this world. Studio Trigger, the pioneers of expressionistic anime excess, only serves to improve the visual appeal of the story. While well-known cyberpunk anime like Ghost in the Shell and Akira concentrate on intricate, futuristic cityscapes, Studio Trigger takes an exaggerated approach to the subject. Never has a cyberpunk anime looked more alive. Than when Studio Trigger applies the same filter to highly stylized works like Kill la Kill and Space Patrol Luluco. Forget the gore and nudity, of which there is plenty. All of this is to say that due to the lackluster build-up to the premiere, Edge Runners may end up being one of the year's sleeper hits. Untethered from the main narrative of CDPR's video game, Jockey, who worked as a business developer on Cyberpunk 2077. And wrote the Witcher run in manga, chose to explore the more expansive aspects of Night City with much better narrative outcomes. However, there is a downside to that. Even though the Edge Runners' central characters are compelling, the show's emphasis on showcasing more facets of Night City causes them to fade into the background. Others enter the scene without proper introductions, while some characters leave the scene too quickly. Fortunately, David and Lucy, the two main characters, get a chance to tell their entire story. Which details their developing relationship and builds to a tragic conclusion. Edge Runners is able to focus on the life and times of a Night City mercenary through a few key characters who, in the end, are all just trying to live their lives and survive. Cyberpunk has always been more about Night City than its characters. Their fates are more a result of the dog-eat-dog -dog food chain in Night City than anything they are able to influence. The more wacky and extravagant animation style of Studio Trigger, in turn. Creates a seesaw effect with the narrative. While the mature storytelling also restrains Studio Trigger from going too overboard tonally, the art style helps lift the story when it becomes too depressing in order to maintain the hyper-realism of the cyberpunk genre. It's not a conflict; it's a compliment. Edge Runners resembles Cyberpunk 2077 in some ways, rather than acting as a substitute for it. While I haven't played Cyberpunk 2077 since it first came out, the anime has me hankering to go back and experience Night City for myself. Fans can experience Night City from two different perspectives thanks to the anime and the video game. I wondered if there would even be a demand for another Cyberpunk anime in 2022, going into Cyberpunk Edge Runners. It's difficult to believe there are any new stories worth telling in this space, given 
how frequently the genre and the medium have combined. However, Cyberpunk, Edgerunners argues that there is still much to mine from CDPR's conception of Night City and that it may even serve as a guide for where the series should go in the future.